Hello and welcome to the Oso Valley update number nine. Um, got quite a few things to go through here, a lot of updates, some changes, a lot of good stuff. So if you bear with me, this update will be a little bit longer than normal, but uh, I hope you like it. So I'll just, I'll start with the basics first. I rerouted my mains power. So instead of coming in down there on that socket, uh, I routed it round to here so I could have an on off switch and I've got the, the mains power for the uh, DCC system and also for my LED lighting, which is the next thing I want to talk about because if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, you know that it's often quite dark in here even though I've got the lights on. So I got fed up with that and, and started experimenting with LED lights and if we just show you here, so it's on an on off switch, which is quite useful. So I can do them all separately. Uh, I need to finish the rest of the layout. I've only done the LED lighting to here and then I need to do all the way around to the rest of it, okay? The other update is I've installed new strip lighting there and there. Um, I've got to finish off the cables and tidy it up, but I, I just ran out of uh, cable tidies. So I'll have to go and get some of those and tack it up to the ceiling. But it's a vast improvement. I can actually see what I'm doing now. It was before I had uh, an old desk lamp which was chasing me around the layout every time I was doing some work on it. It was just just driving me nuts. So I went into Leroy Merlin and these things were on sale. So that's, that's, a, that's a big improvement. And I just finished that up yesterday. Um, the other update you can see is I'm now running trains. Uh, so after nine episodes and about seven months, <laughs> I'm finally running trains. Um, which is great because I've been sat in boxes and it's been getting a little bit frustrating. So I've got some more out here. I want to put these back on the tracks in a while and test them all out. Um, I've got my Milwaukee Road, the new one, but uh, the, I don't have the DCC decoders for that yet. Well, I've got one spare one for the the, the middle the middle unit. Uh, the F is it the FB7? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, the FP9s or the FP7s, sorry, I don't have decoders for that. So I'm going to do a bit of research on those because I've, I've read several things. That the Digitrax one doesn't quite fit properly and you've got to extend the light. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure that out. I'll have to do that next time I come home. Uh, also, I've started collecting my freight stuff. So I've got three, three GP9s, all different numbers. And I've started collecting uh, freight stock or rolling stock as well. Um, including, I just picked up these cabooses off eBay the other day. Dirt cheap, shipped them all the way from, I think it was Illinois or Kentucky, I can't remember, out here to Gibraltar. And I, I, in fact, they arrived faster than these track joiners I ordered from the UK. Now, the UK is 1,500 miles away, and Kentucky, whatever, is about 5,000 miles away. But then Kentucky stuff got here quicker, so that was pretty cool. Um, also, one other thing I've done is not really train-related, but I've hung my aircraft up in the ceiling. And... That will allow me to start working on the upper deck uh, when I next come home. So obviously it's a big old mess at the moment, but uh, when I come back, I'll, uh, I'll start working on that. I've got a plan together and I, I hope to implement that. Like I say, probably if, if not the next time, then the time after that, we'll see. Just depends on what my schedule's doing and, and obviously I need to buy some track because I've actually started running out of track now, which is why I haven't finished the Helix because I ran out of straight sections. Um, and the unijoiners, the, as I said before, these uh, terminal unijoiners. I love these things, they're great. They work really well. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, I just want to add one other thing. Um, if, you've never, if you've never used these uh, inclines and risers from Woodland Scenics, I can highly recommend them. Um, they're really, really easy to use. Uh, they're, they're actually quite robust in terms of their moldability and their, and their scalability. Uh, you can plaster on them. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, what I recommend you do is, is check out Mike Pfeiffer's channel. He's, just do, he's rebuilding his ACT railroad. Uh, I think this is the third incarnation. Of, and if you look for update seven, he's got a really good uh, video log on that. And also on his N-Scale how-to channel. Uh, he's got another channel called N -scale, uh, N scale How To, and he's covering the section where what he does to cover up the, the holes so you can start ballasting and painting your track and that. Um, 
and having watched that video that's what i'm going to do here so but anyway guys that, uh, that's about it for me um let's say quite a few things to cover sorry it's dragged on for the full five minutes i hope you've enjoyed the trains running it's great for me to have trains running again and uh we'll see you see you soon i hope to do one more video before i go back to the boat so just see what happens oh i did forget to mention uh this yard is laid out but it's not wired up which is why nothing's running and of course i need to put the decoders in, in my gp7s um but the reason it's not connected is i'm not too sure i'm going to keep that layout uh, it's fine it's it serves a purpose but and i can stick a few industries in there but it's a little bit too a bit too tracky i, I would actually like a little bit less track and more spurs so i think i'll probably change that before uh, i go any further um and the next thing i hope to do is is as you see i've sort of drawing out the scenery and i'm not going to explain too much to you because i bore you to death but i'm going to sort of the scenery is going to have to be done in sections because obviously my bench work splits up here and this layout is designed to be movable if i ever need to so um that's what's prompting me to design this way i've done the other thing i've done on the design is add in another set of double tracks and that's for the re reverse loop which starts there runs all the way along through a tunnel around there and along to there and it will terminate back to here um but like i say that's uh, i'm gonna need more track and I've, I've obviously got to finish my plywood work anyway guys thanks again for watching and uh look for an update one more update soon before i go back to the boat